Could Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton continue their dominance in practice into qualifying? Could Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel put up enough of a fight against Mercedes? And what would Red Bull end up doing with their engine penalties? Find out in this video. The weather for qualifying in Sochi was absolutely perfect. Beautiful blue skies everywhere. And it would go on to be a beautiful day for Mercedes. With a 1-2 in qualifying. Valtteri Bottas took pole position from Lewis Hamilton in 2nd, Sebastian Vettel 3rd, Kimi Raikkonen 4th and Kevin Magnussen in P5. Then it was Ocon P6, Leclerc P7, Perez P8, Grosjean P9 and Marcus Ericsson in P10. In Q2, Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz and Nico Hülkenberg were knocked out, as none of them set a lap time. As Hartley, Alonso, Sorokin, Van Dorn and Stroll were knocked out in Q1. A weird session to say the least. But now let's take a look at how the top three teams did on Saturday. Coming into qualifying, Mercedes were the clear favourites for pole position. Their pace all weekend has been stunning. And in qualifying, quite frankly, nobody could get near them. But it would not be current championship leader Lewis Hamilton on pole. That would go to Valtteri Bottas, who in Q3 came up with two great laps to take pole at one of Valtteri's most favourite tracks. This is what Bottas had to say after the session. It's been a long time since I last took pole in Austria this year. So this feels very good. I just had to put everything together in Q3. I was able to get a really good lap in on the second run and it was enough for pole. Valtteri absolutely correct in his assessment. But for Lewis Hamilton, mistakes in Q3 cost him pole. He was four thousandths of a second off Bottas after the first run in Q3 after a scruffy lap. All he had to do was put it together for the final lap to get pole. But made a massive error at turn 7 costing him that opportunity. And thus will line up in P2. This is what Hamilton had to say. I think I had the pace for pole. But Valtteri did the better job this time. It's great for the team we have a 1-2 here. We'll try and convert that tomorrow. And well, given the pace of the car, they really should. But up until Q3, it was looking so good for Lewis. In Q1 and Q2, he was stunningly fast in first place. Especially in Q1, where he was miles ahead of his teammate. But again, when it mattered, he did not get the lap together. But still for the race, he has a great chance of victory. As Mercedes are clearly the team to beat for the Grand Prix. To be honest, all weekend Ferrari just have not had enough pace and have been consistently behind Mercedes. Thus why Ferrari with Vettel and Raikkonen finished in P3 and P4. They just did not have the grip of the Mercedes in those important fast corners. That's why in my opinion Ferrari are lining up on the second row and not the front row. And this is what Vettel thought of his qualifying. I think the car today was better than yesterday. The session was fine. And I think we could use our car to its full potential, there was nothing wrong with it. But we just weren't very fast enough. Nevertheless, the race is tomorrow. And if I can bring the good feeling I had towards the end of the session into the race, then I think we are in a good position. For sure, I want to do everything well. And I think that there is a chance to overtake after the start. We need a good getaway. But not too good. Otherwise, you end up giving the other guy a tow. Vettel is right when he talks about the start. Having a good slipstream is very important on the run down to turn 2. And Vettel has a very good chance of taking the lead at the start of the race if he does get a good slipstream. But as he said, he needs a good start. But Ferrari consistently during the session were way off Mercedes. In Q1, Vettel was a second off the pace. That did improve though in Q2 to just under half a second. But he ended up in Q3 six tenths of a second off. Ferrari are at least a half a second off the pace. At the start of the race, they have to somehow get into the lead. Because if they don't, I don't see how Ferrari can possibly win. It also wasn't great for Kimi Raikkonen, who pretty much all weekend has been off the pace. So it's not a massive surprise he's ended up in P4. But he could have got third if he did not make a massive mistake in the final corner. On his very important final run in Q3. But it's 3rd and 4th for Ferrari. Somehow Vettel has to win the race. It is now vital. 
Because of the engine penalties that Red Bull had coming into qualifying, this was a useless session for the team, as they ended up completing Q1 but then not doing Q2 at all, as again because they have penalties there is no point. In the race though we should see plenty of overtakes from both Verstappen and Ricardo. That is where all the action is going to be in the race. But now let's move on to the midfield teams and see how they did. First off, McLaren. Considering how McLaren looked after practice, qualifying for McLaren was never going to be a good experience. And they ended up in qualifying in P17 and P19. This weekend they have about the second slowest car. The dark days at McLaren continue. And I don't see it getting any better in the Grand Prix. After only just about getting through to Q2, Renault in Q2 ended up not doing the session at all. Instead trying to save the car and the tyres. Ending what has to be Renault's worst qualifying session of 2018. As they were way off their competitors Haas and Force India. But Nico Hülkenberg is still upbeat about their chances in the race. This is what he said. Today we ran a wise strategy. A decent qualifying position was out of reach on pure pace. So we opted for the approach which means we won't have to start the race on the hypersoft tyre. Everything we did today should help us in our battle on track tomorrow. Now even though it was disappointing they did not compete in Q2, I see their point. In terms of where the hypersoft is not doing well at all. And the ultrasoft is definitely the better tyre to be on. So a smart choice there by Renault. And in the Grand Prix that could propel them into the points. Hopefully what they're going for works out. During this entire weekend Force India have shown some good pace. And they were looking very competitive in practice for a great qualifying. And in qualifying I'd say they pretty much delivered. With first off Esteban Ocon in P6. A stunning result for Esteban. Again proving why he does deserve to be on the grid. I still can't believe he's actually going to lose his seat. What a sad state of affairs. And Perez I thought did well in 8th. He probably could have outqualified Charles Leclerc in P7. Because at the end of the day the Force India is faster than the Sauber. But P8 is still pretty good. And in the race I'm expecting a double points finish for Force India. Once again in qualifying Williams were quite slow. In P18 and P20. But I just want to cover something about one of their drivers. That is Lance Stroll. I want to analyse just how poor he was. He was 8 tenths of a second behind Sorokin in qualifying. I'm sorry but that's just poor. And yes I know it's Sorokin's home race and Sorokin is going to be very motivated. Meaning Sorokin might be quicker than usual. But still come on. 0.8 of a second is a bit too much. And he was clearly in last with no pace at all. Not looking great for him or Williams. Toro Rosso are in a very similar situation to Red Bull. Qualifying for them was pointless because of engine penalties. As Pierre Gasly got through to Q2 but then did not compete. Brendan Hartley tried to get through to Q2 but was eliminated. In a disappointing P16. And because they've had to put the old Honda engine in the back of that car instead of the new one, race day will be very quiet for Toro Rosso. For one of the Haas drivers qualifying was great, as Kevin Magnussen qualified in P5. Another great result for K-Mag in 2018, to add to his other great results. And also good to see him recover after what has been a not so good last couple races. I was though a bit disappointed with Roman Grosjean. Because if Magnussen can qualify in P5, then why is Grosjean in 9th? Not good enough I'm afraid. Grosjean should be at least in P7. And probably in qualifying should be beating Kevin. But at least Roman is starting in the top 10. This is what K-Mag though had to say after his great result. I'm happy. It's the best of the rest again, pole position for us. It's a good feeling it was a good lap. It could have been better the only place I messed up was in turn 2. I hit the curb and definitely when you do that you lose time with wheel spin. I thought from there it would be pretty difficult. But I kept it together and did a good rest of the lap. And I think for Haas the race will be successful. What a great qualifying this was for Sauber. With both cars getting into Q3. 
but the most impressive performance of course was Charles Leclerc, finishing in P7, showing exactly why he will be at Ferrari for 2019. Throughout the entire session he was very fast, and deserves to finish in that kind of position. And Ericsson also did do well, even though certain cars not competing in Q2 did help. But hey, it's still a good result in P10. And I'm just going to add this with Charles Leclerc. It's his fourth Q3 appearance of 2018. That is so, so impressive in a Sauber. He finished up again in P7. And again was a great day overall for Sauber. It's their first double Q3 appearance of 2018. And I believe it's the first time they've done that since 2013. What a great day for this team. And I really hope they do have a good Grand Prix. But guys, before I go, this is what I'm doing later on today. I will be live for the race watch along at 10 past 11 UK time. And then at 2.30pm I'm going live again for the race reaction. Make sure you come along to those. It would be great to have you along. But that's it for qualifying in Russia. Next up is what is most likely going to be a boring race. The first lap is so key. And I feel as though the race will be decided on that first lap. Can Bottas and Mercedes hold on for the win? We will see later on. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys to join my Discord server. There's a link below down in the description. Also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video. And comment down below what did you think of qualifying. Please comment down below what you think about those topics. And until next time, it's been me, Chazzer HD. Goodbye.